hi my loves and welcome to my channel if this is your first time seeing my beautiful face my name is cheta and i create content in abuja nigeria you are definitely welcome on board if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for the support thank you for the love i really appreciate you guys please if you're yet to subscribe what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button down below and do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and yeah guys let's get into today's video oh, okay guys for the millionth time i know at this time at this point i sound like a broken record but today guys we'll be reviewing my spa experience in nairobi kenya i mean you guys already know by now but yeah i recently went on a trip to kenya and i was able to book a spa appointment there and yeah um i want to run you guys through my experience and also um compare it with my previous experiences visiting a spa in abuja nigeria um now first things first the space i've kind of touched on this in my previous video slash vlog but it was really a small space at the end of the day we used a hotel a western hotel and i have already posted a review on that hotel particularly i'll link it up above go watch it but yeah in western hotel they had a spa and that was the spa that i booked my appointment with um the spa was really really small because i mean it's just part of the million and one things that the hotel had so it was not like they were busy emphasis on it i believe um it was a small enclosed space just had like a bathroom um a bed um a few um things to keep you cozy they had like um a candle um a diffuser um good music and all of that basic essentials required in a spa um for the first time in my life my masseuse was a guy and i was really skeptical because this is the first time in my life ever having a masseuse as a male in all my spa experiences in nigeria it has always been a female handling my spa activities so i was kind of skeptical but um, for professionalism he was really professional i really appreciated that he was just being not being weird or being a pervert even though at the end of the day i wasn't expecting this i mean it's his job so i wasn't expecting him to be weird and all of that basically but he was really professional i'll give that to him yeah um so yeah that's basically what my spa or rather my masseuse was like now uh, first things first the mood the mood was set right like i said there was a candle this was lit there were diffusers they put this on and he particularly asked me what kind of music i like and um he was really emphasizing on are you sure you're good with this music and i and, he, and at the point i was like okay play me nigerian music and he obliged me he played nigerian music not like jamming jamming ones but like chill nigerian music and it was really really fun like it was a touch of nigeria i mean if you understand what i mean but yeah guys um that was the first thing he did and then next thing i'll run you guys through the entire process because i documented it so you guys should watch these clips okay so um first things first he got a coffee scrub and he gave me a good scrub all over my skin and while he scrubbed he also gave me a massage as you'll see very soon I mean like i said he was very professional with his job and he was also telling me why he was doing what he was doing the scrub yeah it's a, the benefit of a scrub eh? mm -hmm. to remove dead skin maybe if you have some stretch marks they remove okay. the stretch marks if you have problem with your back if you have a maybe tummy it will reduce the fats oh really yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay yeah. It opens the oh okay well done have you ever had the boot scrub again? Yes, I have, but I have done more of um, Moroccan bath. Yes, ah. Moroccan, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Guys, this guy was jamming to Ninja music while he was giving me this massage. But, anyways, after scrubbing, this was the dead or the dead cell that came out of my body, and then I was to take a quick shower and wash off the scrub, and yeah. I was admiring myself at this point by the time i got out he had already rearranged the whole process or the whole room for my massage process yeah and yeah that's the oil i was going to be using so he started out with the massage he was doing a great job i absolutely enjoyed it i have no complaints 
and while he was massaging like i said he was just telling me why he was doing what he was doing which was really really impressive and i'll give him something i'll give him like a good ra rating for that his technique eh? hmm. he was he was just he was just doing the most but i absolutely have no complaint but yeah guys after the massage he decided to tell me about the g5 machine and what it was going to do to help me before using it on me if you want to finish your tummy it helps oh, okay this one if you have a stretch mark it helps was this what you used on my back yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh That's really because you have the now oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so this one is the best one if you want to to finish your tummy what's it called the g5 massage g5 massage yeah, yeah. oh okay so after telling me about the machine he whipped it out and started giving me a massage it was intense but it was still relaxing and enjoyable at the same time so he told me it was really good for people that had fat rolls at their back their tummy just to smoothen out everything and yeah he decided to use it for me because i mean i have fat rolls but yeah um he did that and when he was done i think um he served me um refreshment fresh juice because i requested for it and yeah that, that's about it guys now after going through the process there are a few things i would like to emphasize um he used a hot oil which was really really cool i mean most spas are using nigeria i mean i've experienced a hot oil massage before like hot stone massage but like people really heating up the oil to massage you but he did that again I think this was my second time having that feel and it was really really amazing like there's nothing like you know how like a spa will be filled with ac so you're really chilly now that touch of the hot oil also helps to uh, make the whole experience enjoyable so i think that's something i'd really love to mention the hot oil thing um if you know that you own a spa and you don't implement that i think it's something you would like to add as a touch to your current structure or your current business or your current spa experience this is a feedback from me actually another thing i would emphasize on is that the guy was very very interactive so when he was using the coffee scrub he was telling me what it was like what it was doing in my body and that was really, really enlightening he also was asking me oh previously what kind of um scrub have you used and i was like oh um i've done uh, sorry what kind of scrub or or cleansing body cleansing have you done and i was emphasizing on oh i've done her mom and he was like oh, okay her mom can be kind of like um, he, he enlightened me and said oh her mom can sometimes be destructive for this for the skin and all of that because of the um what's it called i think because of the scrubbing or whatever so he said um not to make it a routine thing basically so the fact that he was really trying to enlighten me and even trying to give me information and tell me oh this coffee scrub does that this does that um you should lim you should limit this you should limit that it was quite really interesting and enlightening for me and i really really enjoyed it that fact that he was really really trying to be part of the experience and give me like full information and all of that basically he also recommended the g5 machine i've never looked out for it in nigeria that was my first time seeing it and using it so he recommended it to me and said oh it's good if you have like fat rolls on your side it can help smoothing that and he demoed it actually like he he used it on me without paying for it because according to him it attracts an extra charge so he used it for me without me paying for it which was i mean it was really really nice really really nice so yeah that's something i would like to mention he kept giving me oh geez oh because of this you should do this because of that you should do that like he kept enlightening me which was really 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 nice nice and i would encourage a lot of spas in nigeria i know there are some that really enlightens you not deeply but they just make comments here and there like they say okay use this use that but there are some that just act like zombies and they're just giving you the treatment especially when they're on promo just to make sure that they get over and done with it so it's very important for you to interact with your client masseuse interact with your clients and inform them on certain things like what you are doing and why you are doing what you're doing finally the refreshment i mean he gave me he asked me what i wanted and i said i wanted a glass of juice he gave me that nevertheless um i would also say that some of it, like one spa 
I have visited in Nigeria here, one particular one never fails to provide refreshments to their clients. So that's something I've noticed before, but then it was refreshing to see again. So yeah, I'll give that to them. Now, general review, like I've said before, this the masseuse was awesome. I have no complaints. He did a good job with interacting and engaging me throughout the entire process of my spa will i say routine or whatever the case was his professionalism was really really amazing to see um he was really professional and i'll give that to him now um the next thing i want to do is to compare prices usually in nigeria if i go to the spa and i do something like maybe a full on body scrub a facial and a massage it costs me like Maybe say about 35k to like 40k ish depending on where i go to i mean if they're on promo you would say like 20 but if they're not on promo their standard price is about maybe 35k to 40k that's 35,000 naira to 40,000 naira which amounts to about maybe say almost 50 usd maybe say 30 some no like 50 usd there about yeah 50 50 60 usd there about but for this experience i only had a body scrub and a massage and it cost me 80 usd which is about maybe say almost 60 something or 50 something k right and that was a lot more because like i said the activities i do that cost me like 30 to 40,000 30 to 40,000 naira is what i did there less than that and it cost me about 60 to 80,000 naira off. so yeah that was basically it the general experience um in nigeria and kenya i would not say there was a great difference it was just that like i said um it was my first time experiencing a guy and i had a lot of things i was skeptical about it but it was really really okay um, it was also um, interactive like I said like I see a lot of pros and in Nigeria as well it's not been bad either so I won't say this is better than this they are both okay they are both amazing I both love them and I would definitely be going back if I go back to Kenya definitely I would, I would have another spa experience there and likewise Nigeria a pro tip that I'll give if you are in any country where they pay and they bill you in USD it's very very helpful to just swipe your USD card you know having this Nigerian mentality of black market rate of dollar and bank rate of dollar when I was going to Kenya I had some like dollar bills with me to spend and i kept spending them throughout the trip up until this particular transaction which was actually the last day we we're leaving um if you have not watched that video i'll link it up up above so yeah it was the last day we were leaving and it pained me so much because they billed me 80 i think eight thousand kenyan shillings which translated to about 80 000, 80 80 usd 80 us dollar and i paid with my card because i had already exhausted my um dollar bills so um when i received a debit alert for my usd account i received a debit alert of about 53 to 54 usd which means they used their bank rate to bill me because i used my card but they charged me with the maybe they have black market or whatever another rate that was not like clearly bank rate and that was why it was a lot more so i'd advise you to in countries that are stable like this if you go to purchase something and they bill you usd don't be afraid to swipe your card it's to your own advantage it's a pro tip i'm giving to you i have learned and if i visit any other country i am going to definitely do the same thing now final verdict if i was to rate it um the spa experience over 10 i would say eight that's fair eight that's fair okay guys so yeah that brings us to the end of this video if you have any other questions centered around my whole spa experience please ask them in the comment section below if you have not subscribed again what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button down below like this video if you enjoyed this video enlightened you on a thing or two please like it and let me know what it is that you were that was a discovery for you uh thank you guys so much for watching in my next video i'll be doing a massive giveaway so you definitely want to stay locked down to this video and yeah keep your fingers crossed for that thank you so much for watching and yeah guys i'll see you in my next video bye